Hi, in this video I'm going to be doing another field test with the Ignite firing system. Today we're going to extend igniters to see if that works and also how far we can push things. Just to quickly cut in here to explain what I'm doing and why, this is an Ignite firing system and this is a standard two metre long Ignite igniter. However, there will be times when you want to extend this because you may want to run a longer wire out to the front of your display for some fountains or you may want to run wires out to the back of your display for your very very big cakes or big display rockets and so on. Also with Ignite because you have got 18 cues all in one unit if you had 18 very big fireworks like compound cakes all around within a two meter radius you might find things get a bit tight in the firing area. So what we'll be doing today is using uh, a used igniter with the end cut off because we need the plug. I will then be extending with bell wire and I'm using these spring loaded clips today because these make this job very easy. You literally push the terminals down, um, put the wire in, let go and then that's a really good connection. And then ending with a standard 0.5 meter talon clip. So in all the tests today, this section is two meters. This is from 10 meters upwards. I'll tell you the lengths in the video that follows. And then you've got half a meter with the talon clip. I'm using Pitax bell wire, twin strand from tool station. I do think that the results that you may get will be dependent on which specific bell wire you use. Cause I think that the thickness and the resistance of this wire will play a part in the range you get. So the results today should only be taken as indicative of this system, this length of wire, this specific brand of bell wire, and also uh, a 0.5 meter talon at the end. If you use a different setup, you may get longer or shorter ranges. And I will say as well that the ambient temperature today was in the 20s. So range could be reduced on a cold night if your battery isn't quite powering as it should do uh, on, a, on a warm day but I will leave it to the electrical experts to let us know if they think a different setups will affect the range higher or lower. Okay so let's get out to the garden. Okay and cue number one. <laughs> And cue number two, 20 meters. And cue number three, 30 meters. Okay, and no problems at 30 meters either. So while I was clearing up my bell wire, I thought, why don't I connect all three together? So I'm going to do 10 plus 20 plus 30 meters. So that's 60 meters in total. Let's see how we get on with that. Okay, last and by no means least, 30 plus 20 plus 10 meters, which looks a bit like this. It's quite a spaghetti junction of wire going just about everywhere but ending over here and that did not work okay so that didn't work at all nothing happened despite the firing system saying that it fired successfully. So just to rule out a faulty igniter, I'm going to wire exactly the same igniter onto the end of two meters of igniter cable to see if it works at an extremely short distance. Okay, so to rule out the igniter as being the problem at this distance, I'm going to fire it on a two meter wire. That worked. Okay, as you saw there, the igniter worked straight off at two meters, so we can rule out the igniter as being faulty. So what I'm gonna do now is cut the distance down a little bit. So this is going to be um, 30 plus 20. Okay, so now we are going to do 20 meters plus 30. This looks a little bit like this. Again, another spaghetti junction. 
weaves its way round, two lengths of wire connected together and finishes here. And that doesn't work either. Oh, there we go. It took a few presses on that one. Okay, so let's try 30 plus 20, take two, which weaves its way around the garden and ends here. And that worked on the first press. Okay, and a third test of 20 plus 30 meters. And I've pressed it and it hasn't fired. There was a little tiny puff of smoke. Let's try that again. It's smoking. And again, And it has finally gone after about four or five presses. Okay, so a final test just to put our minds at rest at, at what appears to be the safest maximum distance for this particular configuration. Uh, I'm gonna do 30 meters again, just to make sure that it fires without any problems. Okay, let's just jump back down to 30. So this weaves its way all around to here. Sorry, wrong igniter. It was this one. <laughs> but it worked first time. Muppet. Okay, 30 meters take two. I shall make sure that I find the correct igniter at the end of this to film. So we snake all the way around there. And as I've uncrossed all my wires, we should be able to get to the right one which is here. And again, no problems with ignition, very first button press. Okay, so that's me finished with this field test. I hope you found this video useful. As always, if you have, please feel free to give this video a like or subscribe to me on YouTube. It helps the channel out and I will see you in the next video.